At the beginning of 2022, I purchased this four-bed Ender Terrace house in the Midlands for £200,000. And for the past year, I've been living in this house, which is where the Sandu Talks channel began. But due to a change in living situation, I've recently moved out and have rented it to my first ever tenant. And in this video, I'm going to show you what £200,000 gets you in the Midlands, what it costs me and what the rental returns are. Okay, so we're just gonna jump straight into a house tour so I can show you what 200 grand got me. Now this is after any refurb I did, so just bear that in mind. I took this video the day before the tenants moved in. So you've got the hallway, um, nice and bright. I changed, the, I put flooring in, painted it. It was dark blue walls, dark brown carpets. It looked so closed and dingy. So I'll show some before pictures after so you can get a feel of what it looked like and how much open it is now. But yeah, this is the first room. Um, it's a good size room. You know, with the three windows, it is quite, it's quite open. It gets a lot of light in. Uh, so that's the first room. You've then got a bit of storage here. You put your shoes in there, Hoover. Didn't paint it didn't I, I was meant to change the carpet but I forgot to rip it out so the carpet people didn't they didn't put the flooring in but it's fine now this is the kitchen so this is the original kitchen when I purchased it I've done no work on this um, I did consider painting it maybe just using white paint brightening it up a bit just like I did to the hallway because the previous people they seem to have an obsession over blue and again you'll see that with the before pictures but I think that's personal preference for myself um, and it would get a bit messy just trying to paint the kitchen. You've then got the uh, garden. Now, I admit, very small garden. It is in like a newish build. I say newish build. It's in one of those like new build, but it's kind of an old builder state. And then you've got a washroom again, matching blue. You'll see the previous people just love blue for some reason, but it's got a bit of a beach theme. Had a beach little mirror, beach pictures. So that is, yeah, the kitchen. You've got the little hallway to the garden and then you've got the washroom. So didn't do anything on that, as I said, just it is how it is. Maybe one day we'll paint it, but it does the job. So I think it's just more personal preference. I would rather have it white. Um, so then we're on to the first floor or second floor, depending on what country you're from. So again, this was painted fresh. You'll see the before pictures. This is the original carpet. I didn't change any of the carpet on the hallways, the landing, the stairs um, and the reason for that is normally that carpet's fine, it's normally in the rooms the carpet gets a bit dented because of furniture. So this is room number one. Now it's a good size room, uh, freshly painted. You may be wondering why is there a wall which is black, that's a bit odd. If I'm honest, I actually ran out of paint and I had to ask friends and family if they had any spare paint. So one of my mates gave me a can of black paint, so I just used black and I think it worked as a decent feature wall. I think it came out pretty good considering it was improvised. Um, so then we're on to the second bedroom. Now the previous owners, this was their living room. It's the biggest room in the house. Uh, it's an odd shape, it's a bit of an L shape. But again, with the four windows, it's nice and bright. You got the new carpets, I painted it as well. There was another blue wall in this room. <laughs> So it just looks much brighter now. Um, so that is the first slash second floor, depending where you're from. Now we'll go up to the third floor. Um, so yeah, this is just the landing, just showing you how nice and open it is. Original carpets still. Um, yeah, I had them like, I had the carpets washed. Uh, I had a professional guy to wash it and they were fine. So this is the final floor, the third floor. Now you've got two rooms here. So this is the third room. Now, this room, um, this room, bit of a box room, nothing too special. You could probably put a single bed in there if you want to use it as a spare room, or you could just use it for clothes, um, put a wardrobe in, storage, nothing too special with that one. You've then got more storage here. Now, I didn't paint this, I didn't change the carpet, it's just a storage room, or a stay room, storage box closet. So there's no point doing anything on that. Um, You've then got, yeah, you've just got the uh, tank in here. And this is the, so we had the washroom on the first floor. Now, well, ground floor. Now this is the second, well, this is a bathroom. You've got the bath shower, uh, put a curtain rail up, but I didn't do any work to this. This is the original, what it looked like. You gotta keep calm, soak it up on there. Uh, didn't really need any work. Uh, I just plugged a few cracks uh, where there's some of the ceiling had cracks in just topped it up but no work done on that and this is the master bedroom 
So this is where the magic happens. But you've got the balcony doors. Wasn't a fan of these. Some people like it. Bit of a gimmick to me. I'd rather have windows. Uh, but you've got balcony doors. Nice little balcony if you want. You've then got the ensuite in here, which again, brown, odd color choice. Again, previous people painted it, odd color choice, but didn't bother painting it. I didn't want to paint the bathroom. I felt like it'd get a bit messy, but it's fine. Um, I just prefer bright colors just to brighten places up, but previous people liked darker colors. And then you've just got some storage in here again. So you've just put your clothes up. Again, no refurb done on this bit, just changed the carpet, didn't paint it, but I painted the rest of the room. And here are some of the before pictures, but as you can see, I only really changed the carpets and the paint, but those two small changes really helped to open up the property quite a bit. Now let's get into the overall cost covering topics such as the deposit and how much it cost me to do that mini refurb. Now because this was a residential house with myself living inside it, I only had to put down a 10% deposit, which means I put down £20,000, and in addition to putting down the deposit on the property, I also had to pay about 1300 on legal and solicitor fees to complete the purchase. But what about the mini refurb that I did? Well, to change the carpets in all of the rooms and to change the downstairs into flooring, that set me back about 1500 which was a pretty good price. And then on top of that, any painting I just did myself to save a ton of money. So overall, paint probably set me back about £150, which again, great saving just by doing the painting yourself. So that's how much it cost me to acquire the property and do a bit of work, but as you can see, the property was already in a good condition when I purchased it, so it didn't need much doing on it. Now another cost to consider which really surprised me was the cost of paying an estate agent to find some tenants and rent it out and perform their checks. And to my surprise, this actually set me back a thousand pounds, which really shocked me. I didn't think it was that expensive to find tenants through an estate agent. This meant before I've even rented out the property, I'm already down about £23,800. So is it all worth it and how much rental am I making in return? Well, the house is currently renting out for £1,000 a month. So given I'm paying about £250 on the interest aspect of my mortgage, a £750 profit per month isn't too bad. Now that would give me a rental yield over 30%. But it's not the full picture because we haven't factored in any repair costs which might hit me in the future and any tax costs as well. But if I'm honest, it's never been the rental yield which has enticed me on this. So let me explain a bit further. Well, when I purchased this house, the surrounding area was part of a nine-figure regeneration program. And as a result, the property value of this house has already gone up to 230k. That's a 30k equity gain on the property I purchased just a year ago, which is an unbelievable return on the equity part because now I could pull that money out and buy a second property and that would be my one piece of advice when looking at a rental property. Don't focus too much on the rental return especially in the current climate where interest rates are just going up and up. You need to really focus on the capital appreciation part. That capital appreciation will do more for your bank account than rental payments ever will. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.